Hi, this is Wendy from WebChick Design. In this video, I'll show you how to add additional email accounts to your existing Yahoo Mail. This way you can send and receive email from all of your addresses without having to check multiple accounts. So we're here in my Yahoo Mail inbox and uh, at the top right we're going to go to settings and click on mail options. On the left side we're going to click on mail accounts and this is our list of existing uh, email accounts. Right now we just have the basic Yahoo Mail. So right above this we're going to click add to add an account. And it asks for a username. This is just going to be how it's referenced in our list of, of email accounts. So pick whatever you like. Example. And the email address you want to add. In my case I'm going to do example at webchickdesign oops, design.net click continue and here we're going to add in the username that we use to log into our email account um, if you are trying to add for instance John Doe at gmail.com you're going to put John Doe as your username because that's what you use to log into your gmail account in my case it's webchick design and then the password again that you use to log into that account Okay. Here you're going to enter your pop server information. Um, if you're adding an account like Gmail or AOL, you can pretty much just Google uh, Gmail's pop server, for instance, um, or look in their frequently asked questions. It's pretty easy to find their pop server information. If you have a company, um, uh, like a website address, like mine is uh, Wendy at webchickdesign.net or example at webchickdesign.net. Um, then you're going to go to your hosting company. I use WebFaction, so mine is mail.webfaction.com. Um, here we want it to deliver the email to our inbox. Uh, there are a couple other options here. You can have it go straight to spam or trash. Not sure when you would use those options, but we're going to leave it at the default of inbox. Under advanced settings, I'm going to click retrieve new email only. Um, this way, it's only going to pull email that uh, arrives from here on out. Um, otherwise, if you leave that unchecked, it's going to pull all of the email that has ever um, that you've ever gotten before now, and um, and obviously going forward too. Um, I'm going to click Leave Mail on Pop Server. If you're not sure what to do here, I would um, I would definitely click this. Um, Otherwise, uh, it's going to delete the mail from the pop server when it forwards it to your Yahoo Mail account. Um, I personally am directing mail uh, from this account to a couple different places. So if it were gonna, if it deleted it from the pop server, I wouldn't be able to to forward to any other account. So I'm gonna click that, then click save. Okay, you're now ready to receive emails. Um, it has. We're going to click OK. It says to um, check your original email for a confirmation email. That's to verify that that's actually your email and, and not somebody else's, so you're not um, adding random people's email addresses. Uh, the only thing that you have to do, um, other than verify that email, is uh, your sending mail information. Here you want to enter the sending name, and that's just what name is going to appear when you actually send emails. Um, I'm going to put Wendy Osuski and a reply to address um, if uh, for instance you were going to be sending uh, mail to a mailing list of people um, from your email here but when when they hit reply that you actually want it to go to a different address you could enter a different one um, I'm just gonna uh, use the email address I just set up webchickdesign.net. I want it to go to the same place. And then that's it. We just click save up here and we're all good to go. Don't forget to verify that email or else the emails aren't going to go through. But you're going to have to log into your original email um, program in order to do that one last time and then all of your mails, all of your uh, mail accounts will come to your Yahoo Mail. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.